So welcome back. We have cauliflower. Yeah, so welcome back. So we got cauliflower here. We are going to turn it into cauliflower bites or uh, cauliflower chicken wings, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. So before we get started, here's a little joke for you. What did the broccoli say to the cauliflower when they were trying to get away from the cops? Floor it. Ha ha, get it? Alright, terrible, terrible. Alright, so without further ado, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. I want to be To start the cauliflower bites, we're going to take our head of cauliflower and chop it into little florets. You want these pretty good size or as large as the florette itself is. Once we have all those florets cut, we are going to make the coating for the cauliflower. We are going to start with a cup of flour, one cup of milk, one tablespoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of garlic powder, and two tablespoons of honey. You don't like honey. Really? No. Bugsy honey. Who eats honey? Bugs. Bugs? Mm. Bees? Then we're going to mix all that goodness up to create our paste. Once it is good and mixed up, we're going to start dropping our cauliflower florets into them and tossing them in the coating to make sure that they're good and coated. Feel free to use an oven mitt because you never know, these suckers could be hot. Then we're going to take these florets out and throw them onto a cookie sheet to bake in the oven. Make sure there is space between them, that way they cook all the way around. Also, feel free to sing a little tune. I hear it makes these little cauliflower florets happy, just like the cows in California. <laughs> Then we're going to bake these guys at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. You can also air fry these for an even crispier texture. Once they're baked, we're going to transfer them to our bowl and coat them in about half a cup of buffalo wing sauce or hot sauce. In this case, we're just going to keep it simple and use some sweet baby raised buffalo wing sauce. It is amazing if you hadn't had it before. Once these have been coated, we're going to throw these back on the baking sheet and throw them back into the oven to bake 10 more minutes at the same 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And voila, simple as that. So, welcome back. <laughs> Alright, so there we have it. So there we have our cauliflower bites. So without further ado, let's get taste testing. I'm not biting. You want this bite? Okay. Do you want to dip it in the ranch sauce? Yeah. Alright. I think I'd like it. Think you'll like it? I think you will too. Dip dip. I think it's spicy. Try it out. It's spicy. It's spicy. It's spicy. Any water. I think it's pretty good. Um, a little bit of zing <laughs> to it might be what she's referring to as spicy. <laughs> Uh, but I like it and I think it tastes really good. Just that kind of that buffalo taste. Um, good alternative if you're not eating chicken at the moment. Um, good vegan, vegetarian alternative. Um, or even if you are, it's just a nice, good, good side way to way to cook your cauliflower. Yeah, I agree. It's absolutely delicious. Um, cauliflower is not too mushy. It has a nice uh, crunch to it a little bit, and the flavor is just absolutely delicious. And the ranch dressing goes, takes it over top. If you like blue cheese better, hit us down in the comments below. A war between the ranch and blue cheese. Let's hear what you have to say. So, with that being said, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.